My name is Clint Sheely. As Ms. Wilson said, I'm Assistant City Manager for Columbia Water. Um, we've had a lot of concerns on social media and, and a lot of rumors swirling around that um, our water supply is threatened and that we're going to turn the water off or we're going to have to boil our water. None of that is true. It couldn't be further from the truth. Um, I was just out on the canal looking at the river. The river levels are very, very high. They're approaching the levels that we saw in 2015, but this event is very different than what we saw in 2015, and we're in a very different place than we were in 2015 in terms of preparedness. So I want to alleviate concerns and tell you with no, with, without a shadow of a doubt, our, our canal supply is stable and operating exactly as intended. We don't anticipate that changing. We are monitoring that very closely. We've been monitoring it for days and we'll do that until the river levels recede. But again, we are operating as designed and as intended and are not under a threat um, condition right now. So I wanna alleviate those fears. Again, the river is very high. It is cresting even as we speak. We think we're seeing the, the peak elevations coming through um, the Columbia area for the Broad and the, and the Congaree. And so um, we are, um, we're managing that. There are no evacuations. There's been a rumor that we're evacuating either our Lake Murray water plant or canal water plant or our Metro wastewater treatment plant. Couldn't be further from the case. Our men and women are working there right now as they have been around the clock, as they do 365 days a year, 24 seven. So we're there, we're operating, no evacuations happening. No need to boil your water. We have zero customers under a boil water advisory right now. Um, We'll typically issue boil water advisories if there was a treatment plant upset. We're seeing really high turbidities in the source water from the Broad River, but we're handling that. We have the equipment necessary and the treating compounds necessary to address that. And so the water quality leaving the treatment plant is excellent. No concern there in terms of customers needing to boil the water. And we don't, as of when I left the office just a few minutes ago, we didn't have any line breaks that would cause localized boil water advisories to be in effect. So we're doing really, really well there. Um, this situation is, again, very different than 2015, although the river level is approaching what we saw in 2015. We had flow coming over land from, from the city, from the heavy rains, flowing directly into the canal. We didn't have the control over the head gates that we have. And every tropical storm media briefing that you've seen me at over the last nine years, you've heard me talk about this interim but very robust solution of a rock dam that is in place in our canal itself. All those tools are still in place and again they're operating as intended and things are working like they're supposed to. If anything were different we would be letting you know. I assure you we will be transparent and we'll let you know the moment we know that something is different. Right now everything is operating as intended and we don't anticipate anything different. We did have a few customers around 15 or so out of water Thursday evening into Friday on Tall Pine Circle, we had about 100 foot of section of water main that was uh, along the road. The road washed away, it washed away our infrastructure. Um, service was restored to those customers on Friday morning and that service continues to those. So um, again, very, very isolated. In 2015, if you'll remember, we had widespread spread flooding that washed away a lot of our infrastructure and so we lost service to a lot of customers then. That's not the case for this event. So those are some of the differences, but again, our, our interim solution for water supply working very, very well. So just want to reassure folks of that. We have lost, um, obviously, lost power at some of our water pumping stations out in the distribution system, and we're working with Dominion Energy and our partners at the co-op that supply um, power to those to get those back online power. We had generators in place or either pulled generators to those sites so that our customers never knew the difference in terms of pressure and supply. So let's talk a little bit about our wastewater collection system and metro treatment plant. Um, we have seen unusually, um, um, really historically high flows. As the river increases, it has inundated our, our pump station that we have that's around the USC baseball stadium. We call it our West Columbia pump station. It's currently inaccessible um, by, by land, um, only by boat. Um, so a lot of our, our, um, dis our collection system assets in terms of piping along the river is underwater right now. So really, really hard to assess whether we're having a sanitary sewer overflow or not. We know that we are taking a good bit of the river and conveying that then to the met Metro wastewater plant. So very, very high flows coming to us. 
as the river recedes, we'll have a better understanding of any damage that has happened along the river to our wastewater collection assets. Um, but again, we're operating. We're seeing very high flows at Metro. The river is starting to back up into the treatment plant, so we're not able to get the, the treated wastewater out. We're, doing, we're using every tool we've got to treat the wastewater and disinfect it. And um, so we're trying to minimize any harm to the environment that may occur there. Working with Department of Environmental Services, I was just on the phone with them before we stepped into the room. So they, they understand the situation that we and many others are in from a waste collection and treatment standpoint. So um, our primary focus right now is to make sure we don't spill sewer in the streets, in areas where the public might get to it, or back it up into your homes. And we're, we're being successful in meeting that objective. So we, we plan for that to continue. I'll, I'll close with this. I want to thank our, um, our staff and, and team that's been working around the clock to keep water and wastewater services to our customers and to, to minimize any disruptions that you might have. If you do have a water service disruption or a wastewater issue, please call 803-545-3300, 803-545-3300. That's the number to call to report a non-emergency, and we'll have crews out and address your, your issue promptly. So thank you.